there's near panic going on with the Ebola, the enterovirus, and who knows whatever other creepy viruses are running around mm. this year, or always running around. So is there anything that people should be taking to boost their immune system that can actually protect them a little better while the CDC seems not to be able to give us a protective version? The vaccines need to be manufactured. Viruses are particularly tricky to get over on. So what you really need to do is to improve your host resistance. And so you're right with that idea. And so frame it around good lifestyle and diet and nutrition, obviously. It always starts there. Of course. And then add on to that an antioxidant piggy bank. What am I talking about? C, beta carotene, vitamin E, and zinc. Now, the caveats, in addition to that, do you want to take some additional vitamin C? Can't hurt. Do you want to take a dark berry and fruit extract of some sort to potentiate the vitamin C? Can't hurt. What about specifics that are good antivirals that can be added in? Three come to mind. Golden seal or hydrastis, echinacea, any of the species are good and an extract of an extract called Lomatium isolate, which is very good against the common cold and oftentimes against herpes viruses. So if you really want to go all out, those are the things you should include. Okay, so let me ask you though. Healthy fruits and vegetables. Right. Then vitamin C, zinc, vitamin E, and beta carotene. Correct. Are those, if I just take a multi, which generally has those in there, is that enough? The multi is a good underlayment. I'm thinking about something which is specifically focused on providing antioxidant benefit. There's a product that I helped to design that I don't get any money from called OptiBiotic, um, which is made by Eclectic Institute that I like. It has a little bit of hydrastis that I mentioned in it and a little bit of red pepper to help it kind of cut through the fog. So taking those on an ongoing basis to just keep the tissues healthy and to keep your immune system boosted. Now in terms of the golden seal, the lomatium, the echinacea, mm. are those done prophylactically or just once first symptoms occur? They're best used as symptoms occur, particularly with the echinacea and the lomatium. Um, there are some people who choose to use the golden seal seasonally. They know that they're vulnerable when fall goes into winter and winter comes back to spring because of the effects of the change in season, and therefore they'll use the golden seal. All right, a little immune boosting. Thank you, Dr. Rubman.